In this video, we're going to do problems 1, 3, 4, and 5. The first one is the Fuzz and Buzzin family is taking a road trip. On the first day, they drive 100 miles. On the second day, 150. On the third day, 200. If this pattern continues until they reach their destination on the sixth day, how far away was their destination? So we have um, the sequence 100, followed by 150, followed by 200. And we know it's six days long, their trip. So I'm going to write out the rest of the distances they traveled. So on the sixth day, they traveled 350 miles. If we want to know how far away their destination was, we would want to add up all of the mileage from all six days. So if we do that, <coughs> just add all of these terms up. We get 1,350 miles. <coughs> All right, let's look at number three. Find the 20th term of the sequence. So looking at the sequence, the pattern is that we're adding three each time. So this is an arithmetic sequence. The formula for an arithmetic sequence is <coughs> to take the initial value, which if this is term one, the initial value would have been three. So initial value and then plus 3n because we're adding 3 each time. And if we're finding the 20th term, we can use our formula and plug in n equals 20. So this would be 63. All right, on number 4, we're given the second term of an arithmetic sequence and the sixth term. So I'm going to make a table and put the information that is known. We know the second term is 1 and the sixth term is negative 3. So you can either guess and check to see what the adder is, or you can basically use the slope formula to figure out the change in each term. So the difference between the outputs is negative 4, and the difference between the inputs is 4. So this would be an adder of negative 1. Negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. So we're subtracting 1 each time. And then working backwards to the initial value, instead of subtracting 1, we would have to continuously add 1. So this would be 2, and this would be 3. So the correct equation would have a starting value of 3 and an adder of negative 1. Number 5, we're looking at this sequence here. We are adding two and a half each time to get the next term. So this is an arithmetic sequence. So a sub n equals, to get the initial value, we need to go back one. So since we're adding two and a half, we would have to subtract two and a half. So one and a half minus two and a half is negative one and a half. <coughs> uh, or not negative one and a half, so let's see. One and a half. Uh, minus two and a half is negative one, and then we're adding two and a half each time, so that matches option C. 